Good morning to one and all. My name is Vinshit. Welcome to Vinshit Creations. Today I would like to explain a biology topic that is a lesson. So before starting our lesson, I will give some information about our lesson. What will be in our lesson? Yes. Okay. We we'll eat food. Yes. We eat uh, so many types of foods. Uh, like biryani rice dal etc but animals also should eat the food yes we'll get the food by uh, cooking but how animal gets the food it should attack the one more animal then it gets the food we have three types of animals herbivores carnivores and omnivores for herbivores they eat only plant so they will not attack the animals they can directly eat the plants but the carnivores they eat only the flesh of animals so they should attack the they must attack the animals and the omnivores they can eat plants and animals so they should attack as well as they can eat uh, without any problem so in this lesson we are going to learn how does an animal get its food so i think you got our lesson yes that is what do animals eat means what the all the types of animals eat in this lesson we are going to learn so in this lesson we have seven topics they are four steps in finding food and types of bigs used for food and how frog get its food means how the frog get its food by which organ that and how cow get its food and which process the cow get its food how duck and crane get its food nocturnal animals wonder worlds of ants these are the topics we are going to learn in the fourth hour lesson so now we are going to start our first topic that is four steps in finding food four steps in finding food so we have four step four main steps we have so many steps for finding food but for carnivores for any animal there are four steps for finding food there are tracking next one is collecting next one is grabbing grab or as well as hunting and next eating food so these are the four main steps which we use for finding the foods so what is the meaning of tracking tracking means the food locating the place where the food is located means tracking means locating the place tracking means location and collecting not collecting that uh, we we should find the food not that collecting collecting means we are searching of food we find the location so we we'll search the food searching and grabbing or hunting by the hunting word you can know that what is the meaning of grab that is attacking the food attacking and not eating the food so eating food means we all know that after hunting we we'll eat the food by this four steps all the animals will find their food and hunt their food and eat their food so this is about the four steps in finding the food so this is our four this is our first topic 
and this is the topic completed like i'll give an example of tracking tracking means now we'll take a lion so lion will first first find their food yes lion will first search the location after that after that where the food is the lion will search after that it will search and after that it will hide in the bushes and it directly attacks and it it uh, attacks by the use of sharp claws attacking and then it will eat the food so these are the uh, it is the example of lion the tracking collecting grabbing eating food the tracking means location collecting means searching uh, hunting or grabbing means attacking and eating food is uh, it will eat the flesh of animals by tearing the flesh so this is about our for, uh, first topic so the first topic is completed so we we'll next go to the our second topic so our second topic is the types of beaks so we know that there are more, many more types of beaks so there are many more types of beaks the next topic is types of beaks our first topic is completed now the second topic types of beaks so in the types of beaks the birds have many more types of beaks example like parrot so what the uh, the types of beaks are dependent on the food habit of the birds so parrot has what food habits eating nuts grains etc for eating this the parrot need a strong and hooked beak like the parrot will has the strong and big parrot has strong and hooked beak by the help of this parrot has hooked beak it can parrot has strong hooked beak and now next one is eagle so we know that eagle is an carnivore so it should be has an strong beak beak so eagle will hunt the eagle will hunt the animal so it should be strong beak and next vultures Vulture should have strong and hooked beak. The parrot should have strong and hooked beak. The main part of parrot is hooked beak. If no strong also, the parrot can eat all the types of foods, nuts and grains. Was a strong, hooked beak. So. This and next for hummingbird. So we know that hummingbird will suck the nectar. Yes, hummingbird will suck the nectar. So it should has long and thin. It should has long straw-like structure thing, thin beak. So long, thin beak. so i want to show the some beaks so the beak of eagle the beak of eagle will be strong yes 
eagle will be strong beak. This is the beak of eagle. And now vultures. The beak of vultures will be hooked beak. So these are the some types of beaks which they use it in finding the, uh, which they use it for picking the food. By the help of these beaks, the food the food will pick it to the birds. So our second topic is also completed. So now our third topic is. How frog get its food? So, in this, this is an interesting topic. So, how frog get its food? How frog get its food? So, when the frog will see an insect, Directly, the frog throws the tongue. First, it throws the tongue. The tongue contains the for the tongue, the insect will be sticking, stuck to the tongue. So, when the frog throws its tongue, the insect then no? the insect get stick to the. To the tongue. Tongue of. It gets stuck to the tongue of. Frog. And the frog. Does not. Chew the. Insect. It will directly swallow the. Insect. And next it gets. Swallowed. So. And this is the same process has been repeated for the lizard also. Now how lizard get its food means also? We can write the same equation. First the lizard throws the tongue and after the insect will be stuck to the tongue of the lizard or frog and next it gets swallowed. This is the how frog get its food. Now we'll see our fourth topic how the cow get its food. How cow get its food. So we know that cow. So, uh, we, if we observe when we when a cow is sitting under a tree, it sit very nicely and it gets chewing something. What it will chew? Yes. When the cow get when we give something for the cow to eat, then cow eats. It will not chew. The cow will swallow it. Swallow it faster. And the cow starts by taking a small bite of grass. It takes small bite of grass and it swallows. After when it take the leisure time, it sits quietly and nicely, and it uh, take up take back the fur into its mouth, and it get chewing. So this process is known as rumination. This process is known as rumination. Rumination. Rumination means. Bringing back food. Food. And. Chewing. It. 
leisurely is called rumination so the cow get its fur by the process of rumination so by the process of rumination the cow get its fur now how does duck and crane get its fur we'll see now our fifth topic So now our fifth topic is how duck and crane get its fur. So you know duck has teeth. Maximum ninety ninety nine percent people will tell no. Duck do not have teeth. But duck has teeth, but we can't see it. But the duck uses its teeth as a filter. When it keep mouth into a pond, pond, then the water. The, then the teeth will act as a filter, and it collect only the food present in the pond. It collects. It collects food presents in the water. So then the. I give an example of the filter. If if a water filter, if we pour some water in the water filter, the dust water gets separated and the pure water gets separated. Then the pure water will be containing in the filter and the dust water will be thrown out. So like that only, the only food which duck needs it gets into the its mouth. And the uh, maximum all the water will be thrown into the pond, or it want to drink some water. It will take the food as well as it will drink the water. So now crane, how does the crane get its food? So we know that crane will be standing at the edges of the pond. Pond. So it will standing on edges of the pond. Crane, edge of the edge of pond. It will stand at the edge of the pond, and the crane gets absorbed to the water waves when the fishes comes towards the crane towards the edges of the river. The waves get. Gives a signal for a crane. The food is coming nearer, nearer, nearer. So now crane think the distance of the food and to the edge. So it will next it will think the distance to fish to edge of pond. Edge of pond. Next, it uh, going to the river, uh, going to the pond, and find its food, and it takes its food, and it eats. Eats food. So it is so some surprisingly, you no. Know, the any animal will not search the distance where the food and to. The edge of pond. So the special quality of crane is this, and with this the crane get its fit. With this we completed our fifth topic now. Our sixth topic is very small, and it we get understand very quickly. And the sixth topic is. 
nocturnal animals meaning of nocturnal animals is that the animals which are active at night are known as nocturnal animals nocturnal means the organisms which are active during night example like a uh, cockroaches will be roaming at the night yes it will be active for searching of food so cockroaches and next wombat wombat is an animal which is an herbivorous but it eats some insects so like a wombat so you get doubt that these animals why these animals will not roam during morning only it will roam during night because scaring scare the animals will afraid of the human beings so if um, they have some afraidness that the human beings will kill them so it will not come when the human beings sleep uh we we'll sleep we are human beings we we'll sleep at during night so it will come and it will uh, all the nocturnal animals will take the food like a bat also bat owl eagle are some examples of nocturnal animals so this is our sixth topic completed Our seventh topic is the last topic and very important topic. Interesting topic that is the wonder worlds of ants. Wonder worlds of ants. So, what are the wonder worlds of ants? The ants form some colonies. Mainly, one uh, ants has three main groups. Four main groups. They are workers, soldiers, female. and male so mainly the worker ants will collect the as a worker ants will collect the fur and store in the type of fungus and the it will collect for all the soldiers female and male the soldiers will protect the female and male and the female female ants will be doing the cooking part and the male ants will be also comes and the workers soldiers etc so mainly uh, ants also are good farmers like us means uh, the workers ants uh, so the worker ants collect collect food and they are good farmers they are good farmers like us means they cut some pieces of leaves and they they tie as a bed and they tie as a bed and it forms a fungus which they will eat so the leaves get so our parents will tell that do not touch any leaf because it contains a fungus it is very dangerous so the ants will 
it uh, pick up the small small leaves and it make as a bed of fungus and they will eat that fungus which they will eat by the use of fungus they will store in that fungus the animals the ants will store the workers and collected food now that collected food will be stored in the fungus made by the male ants so this is about the wonder world of ants and the colonies of ants why the ants form the colonies and what are the important things which we can learn from the ants are the ants will you ants will tell us about the unity means there will be unity if there will be unity only they can all the work has been done by all this workers soldiers female and male not only workers will collect food the soldiers will also collect food one time and the workers will also protect the female and male not female and male male will also work as the workers and soldiers and female will cooking part so this is the use of animals use of ants they will we can learn from that hard work and the unity of value of unity we can learn from the ants so this is our top seventh topic the seventh topic is also completed by completing our seventh topic we have concluded the our fourth lesson that is what do animals eat so i think all of you understood about the fourth lesson what do animals in all these topics i think all understood clearly so if you like our videos if you like my explanation way please like share and subscribe our channel thank you one and all